In today's video, I'm going to discuss bushings, what they are, and how they can come off, or how difficult they can be to get off. This is a track bar here. This runs underneath the uh, vehicle to keep it stable and turns. Here's the bushing on the end of the track bar. You see the rubber piece here, and there's a metal sleeve in the middle of it. The old one that came off, here's the bolt from it. Uh, this sleeve is not threaded. The bolt just pops through like that. What can happen here over the years is as this bushing is in place, the, the bolt here can, can become really seized onto the bushing, almost like one piece. And what I want to illustrate in this video is just how miserable of a job that can be to get that bushing out of uh, its position. In this case, in the video, we're going to see that the, the, uh, this end of the bar had broke off and the bushing was seized up under the vehicle. I wasn't going to make this video actually because I'm not encouraging any, anyone to do what I ended up having to do. I ended up having to burn the bushing out with a torch to get access to the metal sleeve in here and then open that up, that sleeve, with a chisel and screwdriver to release the bolt. Uh, so this is a scenario, as I say, don't do what you're going to see in this video. I just wanted to show how, uh, how difficult they can be to get out. I mean, you don't want to get underneath your vehicle with a torch and start having to burn this out. If you have a scenario like this with a seized bushing, probably a good time to take the vehicle to your mechanic. Here's a closer look at our bushing. The end of our track bar, here's the new one I'm going to put on. Again, there's the rubber around it. There's the steel sleeve. Here's the one that came out. That track bar broke. And that's why the bushing was so difficult to get out because this piece was seized up in the, uh, the fitting that came down from the bottom of the, of the vehicle. So here's where the rubber would have been until I had burnt it out and pried it out with a screwdriver and everything else. And here's our steel sleeve and there's the bolt. Bushings aren't only just on track bars obviously, they're, they're on any part where there's a, a certain amount of movement required and the a part meets, connects to your vehicle. This is an upper control arm here and we can see there's a bushing here. We see the rubber part in there and our bolt here. Um, shock, an old shock here. End of a shock again, it's going to be secured to the vehicle, but there has to be some movement between where the shock meets the vehicle. So again, they use a bushing. There's our rubber part and our metal sleeve. Here is the remnants of a track bar on the rear of this vehicle. It is it's broken off. I'm going to move it a little bit here. You'll see where it broke right there. So this was going across the underside of the vehicle here, this section here broke. That's the unfortunate part, because if the track bar hadn't broke off, what I usually would do would be release the other end of it and then push up and down on the track bar here, which could break the seal within the bushing here. Unfortunately, as you can see, it broke right off there. So now I'm stuck with the end of the track bar stuck in place here and the bushing within the track bar is very tight. This is the other side, the side that the nut was on. As I said, this nut came off no problem. And I can see, you can see as I spin that, I've got my ratchet on the bolt from the other end, and that's just turning and turning. And I've beat on this side of the bolt here, protecting the threads. If you're gonna do that, try to, if you wanna reuse that bolt as I do, protect those threads. But that bolt will not go back through the bushing. I want to drive that bolt through, but I want to try to salvage the bolt if I can. So you can see I have the nut that came off of that. That nut's not really salvageable anyway. It's all roast, rusted. And there's no problem for me to get a nut to replace that. But I don't want to damage the bolt. So in a scenario like that, put the nut back on just as I have there. That way we're gonna pound on the nut instead of pounding on the bolt and potentially damaging the threads. I have an old jack handle. I find a lot of times it's good for stuff like this. I'll put that on there and then watch your ears. We're gonna give this a couple of pounds with a hammer and we'll see what happens here. I'm 
I'm not recommending getting under here and doing this type of thing. I'm going to heat up this. Hopefully I'll be able to videotape it while I heat it up a bit. Uh, as I say, there's dangers to things like this. Don't do this. I'm just videotaping what I do. I got my little fire extinguisher handy here. Something like that. This rubber could start burning and maybe get a little out of control. But the heat should loosen that bushing up. Are bushing I think it's starting to finally loosen up a little bit or bushing in here you can see where I burned away at it again not recommending this this is more of a video of why you don't want to start trying to release a bushing by yourself if it's seized onto the vehicle as in this case at this point now that it's all been weakened from the heat and the pounding as I pry with my pry bar there we can see there's the rubber of the bushing there that I'm pushing against and in there you can actually see the metal tube that that bolt is running through and that's what it's seized into. point pretty much all of the rubber is burnt away from the bushing so I can see the sleeve that the bolt goes through and I've taken my hammer and chisel and screwdriver when I had this wide enough and pounded that uh, through there's that line in the sleeve there and I'm pounding on that to release the hold that that sleeve has on the bolt done the same thing on the opposite side of the bushing See my vice grips over here, holding on to that uh, sleeve, keeping it in place. And there's the gap there. I'm just gonna fit my screwdriver in there now, actually. Pounded on that and widened that out. The ratchet here, I'm just turn on that. You can see that the bolt itself is loose within there. So I think this. Should be able to get that out of the sleeve here shortly. And here comes the bolt finally. One of the most poison jobs I've been involved in in a long time. There's the bolt that caused me so much grief. And the remnants of the bushing. And there's our sleeve there. 